Righto, here we are again. We're back and I'll tell you a funny one. The reason I specifically started doing this right now is that uh, yeah, I was about to make an excuse for not doing it today. I, and I think that's the theme that I want to get into on, on today's, today's episode um, because uh, this actually came up during the weekend. I was uh, away with a group of friends and this idea of creating excuses and I think sometimes when you say excuse it, there's always a negative connotation associated with it and what I'm trying to get at is how often do we almost we kind of create this story or narrative for ourselves as a rationale for why we're doing something and how often does it come back to something that could well just be made up about ourselves anyhow so anyway bit of a random intro but I was about to, I'll set the scene on this one, so another week um, started today, week 17 of the year, very exciting, it's just, it's a busy week, the calendar, literally my calendar from a professional or from a business and, and personal standpoint is blocked, like there's no, there's very little flexibility for me this week in terms of um, you know, being able to take 30 minutes here for a call for, or, or whatever it might be. So that's, I mean, that's nice in some ways. It's actually quite really nice compared to the last couple of weeks we've had where it's been a lot more up in the air. Anyway, I come into the week, set my expectations for what I'm doing content wise. I've done some stuff already today, which is great. And already kind of sense, or I kind of sense to myself that I was about to get to this point where it's, it's midday now. And I was about to say, Actually, I'm about 30, 45 minutes behind on something here. Do I need to do that YouTube video today? I don't need to. You don't need to do any of this. But I've decided and I've set myself an expectation or a, a target or a priority to do this thing. Anyway, I'm doing the video now, so that's great. Don't need to worry about that. This topic or this theme came up during the weekend when I said... We were talking about all sorts of things, um, but the one thing that came up that I thought was interesting that I'd also heard from a client less than a week before that is this idea that like, okay, there are certain things in life that, you know, some people find more challenging than ours, or some people will um, be less inclined to do potentially for whatever reasons. And it's the reasons we almost create for ourselves. So for example, in my case, I was referring to uh, exercise slash my well-being or my health right now for me personally the story I then told about the weekend about what's going on is along the lines of what I feel has happened to me in the past which is I maybe find this kind of exercise flow for like two or three months and then something in life happens that disrupts that flow and it's almost like we're back to square one again and I feel like that's happened maybe 10 or 12, 15 times in my life. And for me personally, it's incredibly frustrating because, you know, if I look back at now, if I look back at how I was in terms of strength or um, fitness or probably just in general health 10 years ago, I haven't really made any progress. I would say, if anything, I've gone backwards in some areas and in some areas I'm much the same. And the question was kind of posed to me, all right, well, you, you're not, I mean, basically it was, you're not prioritizing it because you've prioritized other things in your life and they're going quite well. So for example, business, I mean, I've spoken tirelessly about how the priorities in my life at the moment more or less are my business and my family. And the third one was actually, until relatively recently, fitness or health, whatever. But it's, it's, clearly no longer a, a focus point for me because it's just fallen off the radar. And how this came up for a client previously as well was in the context of their business. So in their life, they have gone through this cycle within their business where they're out of the weeds, they're out of the day to day, they have time to work on certain things and they have these spells, maybe a couple of times a year, where they feel like they have a run where they make real good progress and they see visible or noticeable difference within their company. 
And it's something that comes up a lot for me whenever I'm speaking to agency owners in particular because it's it, it's so common. And I can relate to it because of my personal situation with, for example, going to the gym or running or whatever it is. So I'm trying to figure out and why I wanted to even just talk about this today. It's like, why, well, why does this keep happening? I mean, what, what is actually happening there? Not what we think is happening or why we think this is occurring. What is actually happening? And for me, you know, and I'm, I'm not saying this is necessarily the right answer to this, but for myself and for my clients, because they're the people I can speak to a bit more, I suppose, with a bit more confidence. What I sense is happening is that we are, 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 we are not viewing these things as non-negotiable or required as part of our life, right? So in your business, your business is part of your life. To work on the business means you have to make quite substantial changes in terms of how you operate and how much you invest in the business and what it does and part of your role in it. That can be very stressful. Sometimes, and quite often it's the case, it tends to be easier to just keep doing what you're doing because it's profitable to an extent and it means you don't have to take on an extra burden to change things. My own life then, if you think about it in the context of what I'm talking about, it's the burden or it's the challenge of adding something in that you find difficult. So what we're really talking about here is, is it a case that you make excuses because to drive positive change in your life or in your business, you have to do things that are hard? Maybe. I just know that within the context of an agency, to get an owner out of the agency, it does take quite a lot of time and energy. And that is tough, right? So it's why people don't often do it. It's easier to keep doing what you're doing without even considering whether it's what you want. So what I say to people is, look, I can work with you. I can try and help you. But if you also just say to me, I actually really am happy with how it currently is. And if I keep doing this for five years, I will be very happy. Then that's perfectly fine. We might tidy up a couple of small things, but we don't materially need to change what you're doing. If someone says to me, I am really unhappy and this needs to change. Well, okay, it's probably going to take quite a lot of energy and time to change it significantly so that that is not how you feel about your business. So anyway, um, excuses might be what I'm talking about, but generally speaking, it comes, I, I think broader, it's just we're creating rationale in our own heads for why we conduct ourselves in a certain way. And I think it's so interesting how it can be applied to the London, London Marathon was yesterday. I'm sure there are countless people who ran that, that four years ago didn't run. There are countless people who currently don't have a business that will have won next year. Um, there are people that have had a business for 10 years today that are wondering if they can do it for another 10 years. In any of those scenarios, you have to change something you're currently doing to probably get the outcome that you want. But as I always like to say, it comes back to what you actually want that's going to define whether you make the change or not. So it's a very, again, that's why it's so powerful to think about what you actually want compared to maybe what you think you should be doing based on what your friend's doing or what that other agency owner is doing. So anyway, that was today's thought. Um, I have already touched on more about business-wise. There will not be another video this week until basically the next three days are jam-packed with client work. So I'm not even going to set myself the expectation I'm doing this. LinkedIn content will be scheduled in this week, which is exciting. And then I'll be back on Friday with a kind of wrap up or touch base on things. But busy week, lots on. It's great. I love spending time with the clients. Um, and it's the penultimate week in, in April. There's a couple of days at the start of next week. But yeah, it's uh, it really has flown by. So good strong finish to the month, help the clients out and get them on a good trajectory for the rest of Q2. So that's what I'm up to. Those are my thoughts. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can get a wee plan in place to, to actually overcome these excuses. That would be good. But anyway, that's all for now. I will chat to you later in the week.